you start texting with somebody and you're like, you know, a lot quicker. I feel like now you're like, no, 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 no. Emotional, intelligent. Yeah. Like right. when someone's like, hey, sexy. <laughs> I don't know. That's a huge right. turn off for me. Yeah. Like, hey, hey, sexy. Or they like, good morning, sexy. Like, I weirdly don't like that. Really? Everybody's different, I think. But like, it what was a it? trigger for me. I thought hmm. it was an immature way. Like, I don't you know. Want something to, unique. Yeah, something unique. And I'm like, how okay. many girls did you send that to? Maybe that is what it was. And I'm like, hey, sexy. Like, that's all you got? Then you're not in my league. <laughs> you're like, gonna have to step it up. You're to gonna have to Brit. step up your communication <laughs> if you're gonna date with me. It's not gonna be hey, sexy or dick pic. Good morning. <laughs> Good morning to my dick sunshine. I'm like, no, no. Welcome back, bitches. This is Confessions from the Outside. This is a podcast where we talk about all things womanhood, motherhood, and the shit show it creates. Uh, we are single moms who have left the Mormon religion, and it's an interesting time. <laughs> Today, we're going to be talking about our first dates after getting divorced, and what throws, throw in some interesting um, dates that we've been on. Do we send these to the people that we've dated and <laughs> been like, you might want to watch this just so you never do it again. <laughs> I, I have warned a couple guys when we were starting this. I'm like, don't do anything that might be on the podcast. Yep. <laughs> or please do. It'll make it more or interesting. Please do. I know. I, yeah, exactly. I'm going to change my perspective. Yeah. <laughs> At least I warned them. <laughs> yeah. Um, anyway, I have my friend Brittany Hunter here. Her business is called Become. It's where she, she holds retreats where she helps women find themselves. I do awesome adventures and it's really fucking awesome I love it <laughs> pretty much just found my passion and a way to make money at it and help yeah. other people and that's the best absolutely <laughs> so Brittany's been divorced a couple of years I've been divorced less than a year and we both got married about the same time wait what was yeah, you said you 22 well I was 2006 okay. or seven so I was 2003 I mean around the same time you know so dating around the same time yeah but we both got married at 22 and started having oh, kids yeah, like right. that yeah, yeah. Yeah, our ages were the same. Yeah. So as far as like the dating atmosphere, what are some things for you that were completely different when you started getting back out there? What's interesting is I talked about this even this morning with yeah. a gentleman at the gym that he's like, if I was ever divorced, I don't even want to date. I don't want to do any of that ever again. And mm. I think a lot of people think that. And I thought that, you know, because we've talked about it in the past. I was like, well, you have to decide that you want to be lonely or you, you'd rather be alone than with somebody else. Or, you know, that was kind of like the caveat. But once you actually are there and in that space, you're like, wait a minute. And I took about three months till I really got on the dating apps. Um, I had one person that I was dating, um, but I wasn't actively on dating apps or anything like that. So it mm -hmm. took, took me some time. And a lot of people are like, well, you need to make sure your divorce is final. You need to make sure this blah, blah, blah. Everyone's telling me this and that. Well, my divorce took a year, over a year. And for me, I felt, no, I have been lonely long enough. I have been single long enough. You know, I, I'm going to do what I want. And so I feel like the best way was I kept hoping to get hooked up with, you know, guys through <laughs> friends or ha yeah. have that kind of work out. And it didn't really take off. So I finally joined some dating apps and it was about June of 2020, which was already hard enough as it was because it was COVID and just started talking to a lot of people and the dating it just, I felt like I was so honest and radically honest with right. people up front. And I was like, I have three kids. I'm still, you know, going through a divorce and it would scare some people off. And some people were like, that's fine. Like, let's go. But I loved it. I loved getting out. And, you know, we had to be a little creative back then. So you'd go get food and then you'd meet somewhere and you'd sit outside and talk. Yeah. And, um, cause so it dating, was COVID. Cause yeah. it was COVID. Yeah. And then I had kids. And so I was like, Oh, do you date, you know, when you have your kids, when you don't have your kids. And so getting it all to work out and line up and the stars align and you actually get to go on a date was kind of like a big deal and you didn't want to waste time. When we both started, um, you, there was no dating apps. We did not have dating apps. I oh, mean, not in the beginning. No, no, no. We did not have cell phones. I mean, I didn't really have cell phones. We had cell phones. I mean, you could text. I mean, you call, but no internet access, you know, mm -hmm. um, just that is really aging me, but that, <laughs> I mean, it is what it is, you know, and we were both more Changed, when we yeah. were dating so sex was not didn't part of it That's, yeah you, you were not supposed to have sex we didn't have mm -mm. kids for sure um, and you could go out whenever you want 
before. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, for sure. Now you have that whole element of your yeah. kids with you. Um, shoot. Like, you have new standards now because before you're looking for a guy that's going to honor your virtue and that, you know, honor, like holds the priesthood as far as because we were both Mormon. You know, you look for these. You were looking for these qualities in a guy that were it <laughs> in, narrowed in it down a lot <laughs> with, you know, what you want as far as like for a husband. And when you get back out there now, it's like your standards are a little bit different. I don't yeah. I know for yeah. me. I like, was I will more like never get with somebody I haven't had sex with. Absolutely. Oh, not. I know, right? <laughs> but now it was like I'm looking at their personality. Are they fun? Um do they like to do some of the same things? I mean, these were things I, that we were looking before before, but the other things came first, you know. So I think for me, um just being able to actually choose <laughs> you know, characteristics that I wanted to look for was a little bit different, but then definitely the dating apps, you know, cause we've never done that before. Yeah. Never ever done that before. And so when it was um, like a lot of group dating, I was talking to somebody else about that. It's like when you're a kid, it's all group dating, Yeah, you know, and that's, you just met in group dating environments. Like you didn't really do one-on-one -on -one dates. I mm -hmm. mean, you were a little bit before me, but it's like, you were, people were too nervous. Like once you could text, like you, you lost that like personable connection. And so it was like, Oh, are you going to this bonfire? Oh yeah. My friend's having a bonfire. And then you'd like meet at the bonfire and you know, that's kind of, that's how I met my first husband. Yeah. That sounds terrible when I say first husband. <laughs> I still have her no desire. Husband. Yeah, 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 her ex husband. Right. <laughs> My ex husband. I don't need another one. <laughs> right. Because we couldn't, we could not be by ourselves no. because we, we were not supposed to have sex. No. Yeah. It's a control yeah. thing. Yes. The, the, the possibility of having sex. <laughs> that was different, you know, mm -hmm. and I don't know. I was still processing some of my religious trauma and trying to decide what I believed in. Like, do, should I have sex right away? Like, should I wait? I don't know. Relationship coaches say you should wait, but I don't know. I just want to explore. So there are so many elements of getting back out there just because we had added on. I don't believe in this religion anymore. I'm just trying to figure out what I believe. Well, now. you're a new person. Yeah. So you have to yeah, refigure out. You're yeah. refiguring out you and your boundaries and what you can and can't handle. And a lot of that comes from experience. And unfortunately, that could hurt sometimes. Yeah. And sometimes you I mean, either way, yeah. you learn a lot. Yeah. 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 Exactly. Yeah. So, I mean, and then you, you have to figure out, do I, do I like girls? Cause yeah. I've never explored that before. You I think know, a lot of people think about that. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you know what? Something else I noticed that was different. So when we were, when we were dating, when we were younger, we're fighting people our age, right? Around the same Ish, age, yeah. you know, yeah. I, and I know some people dated a lot older, but that's something I noticed. And I was, I was surprised with was that these young guys, would come for you and you're like you're not that much older than my son <laughs> cougar <laughs> oh it was I, oh. it was alarming at first i think it's a fantasy yeah. like it's it a, fantasy a fantasy or fetishist yeah. and i think it goes both ways a lot of older men yeah. are dating young women yeah but the the men and the women being older is kind of more of a new thing you yeah. know right don't you think yeah, I think probably the last 10 years, though. Yeah. Or so. It's right. like it just become this sexy thing. Yeah. And that was that was really hard for me at first because I'm like, I'm looking in the mirror and I'm like, I, dude, I've got wrinkles and I've, this, I've pushed shit out of this vagina. <laughs> Not shit. Babies. Like large babies. I push, pushed a 10 pounder out of them. Oh like, I don't know. I don't think you know what you're getting into. Like my body's not like a young girl's. And it, I was just, I you feel I like you're really competing. hard to accept that, mm -hmm. that they were fine with that, that they loved that, that they love the maturity of a, an older woman. I yeah. hate saying I'm an older woman, not a 20 year old, you know? Yeah. And that was something very different for me when, you know, like they're approaching me. Like, really? You're 20, you're 26. I'm you know, 40. Uh, yeah. That's, anyway, it is interesting. Well, and it's mm -hmm. trying to find somebody that is compatible with you, but you have your, it's not so broad anymore. You've narrowed it down. Cause like for me, I'm done having kids. Yeah. So I can't be with somebody that wants kids. So that was very like, you put that on your oh, dating yeah. profile. Yeah. It's kind of like, God, 
scary, but like a lot of these guys, like it's like they want kids. I'm like, well, then why? Let's not waste our time. Yeah. You know, unless we're just trying to be friends and, you know, there's an opportunity for a connection of growth here in mm-hmm. my life, but there's not romantically, you know, and that's a big one like that you want to talk about. I did. I wanted to know up front yeah. if the guy wanted kids or not, because I'm like, first of all, I have kids. So, you know, you'd be taking on three kids Mm -hmm. and those are not things that like you want to talk about at the beginning but I don't like to waste time yeah I don't either you know and so I'm like well I have three kids and I don't want any more kids so if we're on the same path that way then it's worth exploring and yeah. it, it, at least it That's narrows it down. Yeah, it narrows it down right in the beginning, especially on dating apps. Like they ask you mm-hmm. straight up. So it was different. <laughs> right. And I went through a period of time where I was just casually dating. I just wanted to just explore people, like explore people, <laughs> yes. explore myself. Like, yeah, just, you know, just connect with different people. And I don't know, just, yeah, just do what I want as far as that goes. And so I think that's where, you know, dating the younger guys, but yeah, you're always that in the back of your mind. Like this is going to end. Yeah. Like we both know that it's going to end. And that's kind of hard too. Cause you can recreate that connection and knowing that it's not going to last. Well, then it's interesting to have guys that fight for you and you're just like, wait, no, I I'm done. And they're like, no, like let's, you know, and they keep going and mm-hmm. going and yeah, you know, I still like even being in a relationship now and I'm like, no, I'm in a committed relationship like in these there's two guys from the dating apps like it's funny because if you look at my phone <laughs> I have the same message back to back hey I'm going through my old contacts and just wanted to hit you up and see how you're doing you had two people well one guy said the same thing twice oh. like but then another guy every like I, I have all these messages that he sends me and I just kind of laugh at it because I like it just says hey how's it going like every three or four days and I'm like do you read the message up top that says I'm in a <laughs> committed relationship but relationships yeah. come and go so fast so they're like no well if there's a chance mm-hmm. you know like I'm gonna slip right in there and they're like oh man they they sure just don't give up some of them <laughs> don't give up even if you're blunt and honest but then I wouldn't be in my committed relationship had <laughs> my man given up I when know. I said get out of my life <laughs> right so um, there's pros and cons it's so hard yeah there's a whole story to that he did not he did <laughs> not give up I was there for the whole thing Things. Uh, you're like, you're I was like, literally like, he did not come back, and he came back over <laughs> at my over. door. I'm like, oh my goodness! But it's like, it's it's flattering at the same time. Yeah. So anyway, it's fun. Yeah. All so like, what are some things that you struggled with, like getting back out there? Confidence, hundred percent confidence, mm. and being like, okay, what specifically? How, how do I be true to myself? But you're like, okay, first date, you're putting out this vibe you're creating that first impression and when you think about it you can say whatever you want (laughs) and that's a scary thing sometimes I almost wanted to play around with that if you knew it wasn't going to go anywhere and be like yeah you know I live in North Dakota and (laughs) you know I'm just over here like just exploring because I'm thinking about becoming a second wife or (laughs) you know (laughs) just messing with people oh yeah like just you know but then you're like okay I'm dealing with someone's heart so you're like what do I want to do with this dating stuff and but I loved messaging I loved you know but then it would get overwhelming so I feel like Mm -hmm. you know building that confidence up through texting is how it starts I mean it is how it starts and so what do you mean confidence so just knowing the right thing to say so you'll get a response and not getting so stuck in your head if they don't respond or if you feel rejected or did I say something wrong did I do something where'd they go why'd they stop texting or you know Mm -hmm. go the whole ghosting thing that became a dub term probably in the last little bit is ghosting and then I realized well yeah sometimes you have to ghost (laughs) like you literally are like okay block and delete ghost whatever Um, but then other times like they'd come back and be like oh well I went through this traumatic thing like there's so many stories so many humans so many people going through so many different things so I had to build up this confidence in myself of what I even wanted to give as a first impression Mm -hmm. um you know I have muscle tone and so a lot of people are intimidated up front and so like you'd get people that would even be like yeah no you're way out of my league and you're like wait why wouldn't you give it a try like I don't know I wanted to meet people so you know what pictures am I going to post 
Do I post pictures with my kids? Do I post pictures Mm -hmm. of myself exercising? Cause that's what I love. Do I want to connect with people that I, you know, I love, I do. I love going to the gym. So I feel like that's a great place to connect with people and want to be with somebody that is health conscientious conscientious. Yeah. I can't even say that word right. Conscientious. (laughs) Um, and just building up my identity yeah. maybe like confidence in my identity because I lost some of it in my marriage. I mm-hmm. didn't know who I was and I'm creating a whole new person here yeah. in a sense. Like I've been married for 13 years and now I'm not, and I am a different person regardless. So finding confidence in who I was mm-hmm. and especially cause I was experiencing new things on dates. And I was like, Oh, I didn't know I liked rock climbing. I didn't know I could ride an e-board. Yeah. I didn't know I could do this. I didn't know that about myself. So building up that confidence and being like, okay, narrowing down, yeah. you know, sometimes I'd get off the apps for like three months and like take a break. And then I'd re-download them and almost create a new profile and be like, okay, this has changed. Even in the last three yeah. months, like you're changing so often and being confident in, in that change and owning it and being like, yeah, I did change. Yeah, I absolutely agree that that was something that I had to develop as well. You know, I just remember (laughs) my first date and I I was so in my head the entire time. I'm just didn't know how to flirt, you know, just um, like thinking. Did you go to dinner on your first date? Yeah, of course. Yeah. And it it just he was looking at me and I just think feeling like ugly, Mm -hmm. you know, like, oh, my gosh, he's going to like. Because you don't there's, have that confidence There's no yet. way he thinks I'm attractive at all. You know, I'm finding out later that he they told me, at, you know, at the during dinner, he's like, you were so pretty, you know. Mm-hmm. And so that helped me. But, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, that, those thoughts that go through your head as you get back out there. I mean, yeah, I'm very conscious of like my age and any signs of it. And, you know, especially right at first, um, my the impact that having four kids on my body is that yeah. is my vagina. OK, you know, it, I don't know. Is it stretched out? I don't know. You know, and and you have to compare yourself almost to all these other single yes, people. I see all these like young, like twenty nine year olds, thirty year olds out there, and I'm like, shit. I, how am I going to do this? And I have four kids. You know, but yeah, you slowly develop that over time. But yeah, at first, it's. It's really hard. And then both of us have anxious attachment, right? I you, avoidant. You have avoidant, avoidant? anxious. I'm a mess. Anxious avoidant. <laughs> mm, shit. Well, that's why yeah. I'm always like, okay, we're fighting. It's time to go. Like, you just leave. Don't talk to me again. We're done. Like, every yeah. little quarrel, every little anything. I'm like, okay, bye. Right. Like, like, I was telling you before this, like, I always give people an excuse to leave. And if they take it, then I'm like, okay, good. Bye. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> I know. At least like, you know that doing about yourself. That? I'm working on it. I'm working right. On it. I'm going to keep calling you out. Yes, please do. <laughs> please do. Yeah. Uh, and when you, yeah, when you would get to in a situation where they weren't texting you like you wanted, like my anxious attachment. What the hell? Why is there a bus in the middle of the summer? Me. All right. Thank you very much. <laughs> um, Back that ass up. <laughs> I mean, it's kind of an understatement to say that this anxious attachment shit hasn't <laughs> been affecting me because at first I wasn't even aware that I had it. And then, you know, after I started dating and I would get so worked up if they weren't texting like I wanted, you know, if I hadn't heard back in a day, um, I was, it was like really running my life. It has been for a while until I've like been really processing it through some mushroom trips, but well that, and I feel like I, I just attachment. Yes. Well, the book attached, I read that book in the very beginning. Yeah. Some people, um, recommended it to me and I was like, done. Like if I can learn more about myself and how to process and become that person that I want to be, then the more knowledge I have, the more I can like channel it and learn how to become more secure attached. Yeah. Well, and And it comes through like very radical honesty. Yeah. Yes. You know, that's why I love exactly. your first date for him to say, you're beautiful, you're pretty, like, yeah. be radically honest. Yes. Always tell a girl that. Yeah. Always. Always <laughs> compliment something on her. Yes. And I thought it was interesting that I saw a TikTok through this guy said, um, compliment the guy because he said yes. the last time some girl had complimented him was like 10 years before that. And he will always remember what she said. He's like, guys don't get compliments. And so I always try to make it a point to compliment something about them. I, I love that. I did that even yesterday. 
yesterday I was working out with my guy and I just saw him over there just doing pull-ups and the sun is like on his back and I was like mm. so I just recorded it and then, he, and then I was like watching he's like what are you watching I'm like oh it's my pornography it's fine. Just, and it's him you know and it just so I funny. feel like that just stimulates them to be like oh good you know because yeah, they needed to it is like again something that changes courtship mm-hmm. you know men courting women it used to be all about the men paying the men opening the doors the car doors everything but is that truly who that person is yeah you know and I don't I don't love the idea of courting I'm like well be honest and upfront at the very beginning and I think more people are now and that's why mm-hmm. <laughs> relationships don't last as you know get started as easily because you know people are being more honest or like not opening the doors and you're like no I need that and that's another thing is like there's things that you're going to realize that you need in a relationship this is another fun thing about dating at home or <laughs> dating about filming at home my shower like oh my gosh this is a brand new place and there it's just falling apart it's funny because I'm yeah. like looking at buying an investment property and I'm like oh I want to get something brand new uh, no no, things are falling I apart. Had so many problems here. I'd almost rather yeah. have something older that's more established. Yeah, I, for real. It's really <laughs> driving me Hey, it's insane. like us as women. See, men want women that are older, older and, and more established. established. Thank you. I love it. Nice I little leeway into dating as you're older. Right. Yeah. And it's like yeah. the age doesn't matter anymore. It doesn't. It doesn't at all. Like as long as you're on the yeah. same pathway in life. And that's what's interesting to me is because of podcasts and things that people are doing to do so self-development and whatnot. If I met a guy that was, it doesn't matter his age, 25, whatever, and I'm 36 and we're on that same wavelength and same pathway and it doesn't matter in age. It doesn't. And I love that. Yeah. I think that you can connect with so many different people. And, and I feel like that's through dating yeah. apps. Like yeah. before we didn't have dating apps. So you just hung out with the same age group of people all the time yeah. and meeting other people and out of your age range, it wasn't as possible. But now with social media and dating apps, it's like, it's open. Like, I don't know. My age range, I think was 55 to 25 in mm-hmm. my dating app because I'm like, I would love to go out with an older man that could, yeah. you know, teach me and like be on that same wavelength as me and we could build and grow something together. Yeah. I was always open for that opportunity. And I will be honest, the guys that were 48, 49, 50, I think I dated one in each age, the most attractive and nicest bodies. Yeah. Yes. They <laughs> care more. They it's, do. The younger guys are like letting themselves go earlier. Yeah, they're gamers. You're like, no, uh, good. I know. And like you start texting with somebody and you're like, you know, a lot quicker. I feel like now you're like, no, 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 no. Emotional, intelligent. Yeah. Like right. when someone's like, hey, sexy. <laughs> I don't know. That's a or, huge turnoff for me. Yeah. Like, hey, hey, sexy. Or they like, good morning, sexy. Like, I weirdly don't like that. Really? Everybody's different, I think. But like, it was a trigger for me. I thought Mm -hmm. it was an immature way. Like, I don't know. You want something unique. Yeah, something unique. And I'm like, how many girls did you send that to? Maybe that is what it was. And I'm like, hey, sexy. Like, that's all you got? Then you're (laughs) not in my league. You're going to have to step it up. You're going to have to step up your communication (laughs) if you're going to date with me. It's not going to be hey, sexy or dick pic. Good morning. (laughs) Good morning to my dick sunshine. I'm like, no, 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 no. Can we talk about dick pics? Can we talk about things that were not there the first time? I mean, you guys, if you're if you're not as old as me, I mean, Brittany's younger than me, so I don't want to age you, but <laughs> I mean, we did not send that. We did not have that, that technology. No. You would have to go and have it printed off at the, <laughs> <laughs> I'd like it to imagine. Hand it to them. Yeah. You know, you just no. didn't do that. No. And so, yeah, to, to get those for the first time, huh? You know, I, I'm just telling you, like, I really <laughs> haven't received dick pics. I don't know. Really? Like, I never got to that. I don't know. I don't know. I just, I think anyone that said, hey, sexy would be the ones that sent me dick pics, maybe. And I just, I'm like, block, delete, block, delete. Bye. With all of the information out there, why, why is this still happening? It's, it's. Why would I mean, you want to be that guy? No. Like, everybody knows there's no. that guy and they're still being that guy. Yeah. 
Duh. And they, they think it's a gift. They're like, I want to send, I want to send you something. You're like, is wink, it even wink, yours? You know? Yeah. No. <laughs> no. You're like, and whose is that? They, like, I'm going to present it to you and I hope that you're going to be happy with this, no. you know, this gift that I am any giving you. Picture, that is how they act. Any picture <laughs> that doesn't show a face, I'm like, that's not even you. So just bug off. Like, I'm out. <laughs> we have very different thoughts. That's so funny. I do. I, I, I struggle with trust. So my first thought is like, that's not your body. Like, nice try. Nice try. I can send you a great picture of me as well. <laughs> I mean, do you, you guys, you really not realize that what we do is we, number one, we'll show our friends and all laugh about it. Yes. And number two, yeah. like automatically in my mind, I'm like, Mm. Well, and I yeah. feel like we do, like you said, we're friends. Like we're, we have a big friend group of single women. Yeah. These guys have got to have, like, we're going to show our friends and then you are you're blacklisted from that yeah. whole group of <laughs> hot women for that one picture. <laughs> yeah, we don't want them. I'm no. sorry. Unless you're in like a, a relationship, I guess. I mean, I don't want the randoms. Yeah. I mean, and it just doesn't do a lot mm, for me. I do like it, it in a yeah. relationship though. Yeah. In a relationship mm. is different, but that you know very what? Different. That's interesting. Yeah. yeah. But size doesn't, size isn't a thing for it's me. It's not going to make me want no. you. The, the second you send the picture, you're already yeah. too small. <laughs> right. <laughs> It's like Snapchat. I can't do it. I'm not, I'm not even on it. Like, why? Why? Yeah. It's, why? It's literally for them to send dick pics. Yeah. And then one time I was on it and this guy was messaging me. And then he screenshotted one of my pictures. It wasn't even like a dirty picture. And I texted him. And I said, you are blocked. You don't screenshot anything. If you want to message me, then text me. Mm -hmm. Like, why would... That's the whole point. I just was like... Snapchat. Oh that is God. like the place for dick pics. No. Well, and here's the thing, guys. Like it, the best sex that I've ever had, he was actually kind of in the, on the smaller side. But it was, I, I'm like into energetic sex, though, yeah. you know, so that's my thing. So, I mean, I, I don't understand the thought process. Yeah. I think it's just because men are so like they love all of the nudity, you know, and I like a good sexy picture do you know what turns me on more yeah like have like a little bit of mystery mm -hmm. have that mm -hmm. down as low your mm -hmm. pants as low as it can yep. go give me a bathroom selfie with you looking hot without a shirt on and you have know it be you, mystery <laughs> mystery sexier i don't send straight nudes either i yeah. send like a little sexy. bit of mystery you know yeah we got I, them in our <laughs> hidden folder so they're ready to go <laughs> <laughs> i'm glad it's not just me <laughs> that's funny well, yeah yeah that's what we need to do, like a, a sexy uh, lingerie shoot in here. I know. I've got great. <laughs> I've been wanting to do that. Yeah. Let's do it. Yeah. Yeah. I, know, I have fun. a guy. And that's the thing is like, it makes you feel sexy when mm -hmm. you send them. Like it yeah. does. And especially when you get the response back and like, but then you have to be yeah. prepared for rejection or like, them not responding. But it's like when you're doing those poses, when you're being that person, like that's how you build your confidence too, is like owning who you are. Mm -hmm. I love it. Yeah. So yeah, the dick pics. Um, I mean, that's just a lot. A lot has changed. A lot oh, of change since we've been out there. So, what are? Tell me about some of your first, like one of your first dates that is memorable, for one reason or the other. Oh man. Well, I we were talking about the in another podcast, like becoming a yes girl and mm -hmm. just being that person that just goes. And I remember just getting invited. Oh my gosh, I got invited out to go boating, and it was like April. April is still kind of cold, but I love boating. I love surfing. And this guy's like, Hey, come out, come boating with us, blah, blah, blah. And I, um, so when he invited me to go boating, I was like, yes, I'm in. That sounds fun. I'd met the guy once or twice and was like, I'll, yes, I love boating. So no matter what, I'll have a good time. I wish, I wish we could like flash a picture right now of when I got on that boat because there were three guys, they were all 40 and up. And there were eight girls, probably 30 and below. Oh, I think I, so I'm, I walk on this boat on the only, well, there was two other girls there that had one baby, but they were in their mid early twenties. And I was like, fuck this. I'm going to own it. And yes. I'm going to surf my ass off and I'm going to have the best time. And I'm like picking up these girls on the side of the road because I have a pass and I'm like doing all this stuff. I'm like, this is nuts. But I'm Sorry, like, there's whatever. A there's a bug. 
It's flying in my eyes. Yeah. So I'm picking up these girls on the side of the road and I'm just like, I'm just in it. I'm a yes girl. I had no expectations that anything was going to come of this date. I get on the, on this boat. The boat won't even start. These girls are sitting there like, oh my gosh, is everything okay? And they're freaking out. I'm like, okay, let's unload the boat. Let me back up the trailer. Like, I know what I'm doing. I own my own boat. Like, I know how to like maneuver myself. And I thought, you know what? Confidence is key. And you're developing, de- developing it in the beginning. But I was like, I'm going to own who I am. Take it or leave it. Yeah. And so I got on there and every single one of those girls are like, oh my gosh, I want to be like you. Like, I admire you so much. Like, they were so sweet and good to me. Had I been stuck in my head, had I like been any other person, I would have been so self-conscious and I wouldn't have owned who I was. And that taught me a lot in the very beginning when I was like, you know yeah. what, take it or leave it. Yeah. Take me or leave me. Like you have the choice to be with all these women. And the guy that invited me ended up going home with one of the younger girls, but I didn't care at that point. Like it was, you know, a couple of weeks into when my ex had left. And so I was like, I don't even care. I'm going home. And they dropped me off and I'm like, bye. I have three kids. Like I'm going home and you know, I just owned it. But then the guy called me again and, you know, same thing. Like I would keep showing up, but you know, he was surrounded by these young girls all the time. So I, I decided that I could be self-conscious, but I decided I wasn't going to be. And I had just as much to offer, if not more yeah. than anyone else. And so, you know, I thought that was, you know, a really cool thing for me to have up at the very beginning yeah. is just be like, no, nope, confidence like, is so fucking yeah, sexy. It like sexy. it can, it can be everything. Yep. Honestly. Yeah. I, that, I think most guys would say that. Yeah. Yeah. And those guys, you know, like they appreciated it and I kept being yeah. invited because I was hopeful. Yeah. <laughs> the other girls are like, how do I wash the boat? <laughs> <laughs> so it was fun. Oh, it was I, you know, I, you have to have those experiences. And yeah. that's what I love about being a little bit older, you know, because yeah. you do once you cross the threshold, you, you give way less fucks. Yep. Uh, and that's definitely where I'm at, too. And, you know, one, one experience that actually helped me a ton, too, is just being around Britain me because like you know they they, her and like some of the people that we hang out with are very comfortable being without Mm -hmm. you know without a shirt on you know just being around other girls without you know any tops and I was really self-conscious about it you know feeling like oh I I don't have fake boobs and I'm not as attractive as the other ones and I don't know just the when when we were hanging out one time in, in that kind of that little party situation, you know, one of them told me, they're like, oh, I wish you never would even got these. I love natural boobs. And I don't know that just hearing that yeah. helped me, my confidence and just the confidence, you That's know, what's your mindset. Yeah. Cause yeah. it's like, oh no, I can still be sexy with my post baby body. Nope. It doesn't have to matter at all. Mm-hmm. Not one bit. And, and that's, that's all about how you present and own it. Cause that's yeah. the one thing is like, accept the things you cannot change and have the wisdom to know the difference. If you can't change it, own it. Like, yeah. That's the best, you know, part of the serenity prayer. Yeah. And you just do it. Like you just have to accept it and own it and just love it. Yeah. And other people will reciprocate and the people that you want to reciprocate will reciprocate. Yeah. You know, but if you're constantly saying, I wish this, I wish that, then they're going to think that they're gonna be like, oh yeah, I guess I wish you yeah. did have boobs or I wish, you know, if you start <laughs> complain about it, then they're going to be in that same mindset with you. It's like, what do you Mm -hmm. want from the person? Like, I love that I can own who I am. I love that I don't have to do this or that. Or if you love that about you, like I have fake boobs. I'm like, I, you know, I like them. I'm proud of them. Yeah. You know, but you can be just as proud with or without them. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. And just those times that we've sat in your hot tub with other girls without our tops on, Mm -hmm. you know, it's, it just makes you so comfortable. Mm -hmm. You're like, oh, we're all beautiful. Exactly. We're all beautiful. And it helps you love people on a different level and be that comfortable and just, yeah. you know, it's, it's not about sex. No. It's not about, it's just a co- confidence and owning who you are. And that's yeah. definitely something I never, I had never had sex in my own hot tub. And I lived there for two years with my <laughs> husband. I don't think I'd that's ever even insane. been naked in my pool or hot tub at all. What? Married. No. And then within like a month, I was like, <laughs> well, and it's funny because we actually raised up the fence on one of the sides because I was like, I want to be able to lay out naked or whatever, but I never did it. And now it's like all the time. <laughs> I'm like, yep. That's so knowing oh, you now. I'm like, that's You're like, so you were never like that. Funny well, to and that's, me. Yeah. that is one thing when I was before I, I was this person who was non-sexual. 
I thought I was asexual yeah, because I was like, too. I don't like sex. Like I don't, I'm not into it like that. And everyone's like, wait, with your energy, how is that even possible? And I was like, oh, I'm just, I don't care. You know, but then afterwards I was like, oh my God, mm-hmm. I love sex. Yes. <laughs> I love, you know, I love being free. I love feeling this way. I love, you know, and, and being surrounded by other people. You get what you put out there. And like, that's, you know, we're creating this, this amazing group of humans you know, men, women alike, where you can be comfortable and confident and, and yeah, date all at the same time. Yeah. And I love that you brought that up because, you know, like when I, and when we got married, you know, we, we had sex for the first time after getting married. And so you don't know their sexual preferences or style. Like it's, you don't know even how to explore really. I, we, I talked about this on a different podcast, but we, I didn't masturbate <laughs> until I was 38 because we weren't supposed to. And I just didn't know my body. I didn't know how to get myself to have an orgasm. Like I can't sometimes, even imagine. Yeah, sometimes it would happen. And we like I think that we had a good sex life for that. You know, I wouldn't say that I like really would complain about that. But I mean, just... I, I was getting to the point where when I would, I wasn't connected and then that was affecting the sex for yeah. sure. You know, you lose the intimacy. Yeah. You, you do lose that intimacy. And so, like you said, after you, after you get divorced and then I, 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 I find people that are emotionally connecting with me and then experiencing that in sex and, and I'm like, Oh yeah, I actually really, really, really like this. You know, I, I, Ad. I didn't know that it could be like this. Well, and to think that we were told that it was bad to know about ourselves yeah. is so harmful. That's one of the harmful, the most harmful things I feel yeah. that I discovered later on is, you know, I didn't have my first orgasm until I had been married six years. And I was sexually active before I was married. Six years? Six years. But I just, it wasn't like, I didn't know what it was. I had endoscopies endoscopies, I think that's how you say it, and colonoscopies. Like, I thought something was medically wrong with me. Really? Yes. And then I finally got a Hitachi. Everybody needs a magic wand. And I discovered it. And I remember my first orgasm with my husband and I bawled. Like, I would always climax, but like, I never went over and I'm like, what is this? Sorry, this isn't really about dating. (laughs) Discover yourself. Do it. We are raw and real here. Yeah, that is is raw and real. Like, yeah. And then I just was like, okay, well now I have to have a vibrator in order to, you know, like I thought all these things, but then as you start exploring with different people and you allow it to be okay with your mind and your body and your soul, when before it was so bad, if you let go of that and realize that God put us here to be attracted and like, that's how you reproduce and create life. And it's something you should know what you like. And to not masturbate to me, I'm just like, okay, now, and then it'll be a whole new thing with my kids. <laughs> ah, that's a whole nother topic, but it's like, you have to learn about yourself you and do. while you're dating. You can, that's another thing and owning like, okay, can you go slower? Can you go faster? Can you move this way? Can you do that? Like mm-hmm. even still being in a committed relationship with a guy that I've been with for two and a half years, I'm like, no, 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 no. This is where like, this is here. Like it's a constant changing thing. I think mm-hmm. especially as women, we constantly change and our yeah. bodies move and our everything right <laughs> moves and changes so and I love how like you say you're you've gotten a lot more confident with it you know yeah. I feel that same way as well I remember the <laughs> the first time this may be TMI but nothing's TMI in the show right no uh, no I had gone over so I dated this guy for a while and he told me he wanted I'm a massage therapist so I mean the way to win me over is to offer to give me a massage just putting that out there yes. yeah so he offered to give me a massage <laughs> and he uh, so I over and I'm going to die if he's listening to this, but <laughs> his it, loss is no, his gain. Like, no, his gain, his gain. It was really good. No, I, I was naive to think that it wasn't going to end in sex. <laughs> I love that all the ways that my brain didn't catch up yet. Uh, anyway, yeah, so very much like it was just a full massage. It was great. It was amazing. Was it a new room massage? A what? New no, room. No, like you give me an actual massage, like a real. <laughs> a new room is a whole new yeah, thing too. With your body. Yeah. Yeah. You use your body weight. <laughs> no, he gave me a real <laughs> massage. He's a physical therapist. Now nice. he's going to know who he is if he's listening. <laughs> but he, it's so nice yeah. though for them to want to 
like, so a lot of people will be yeah. like, oh, you work on cars. Oh, do you care if I bring my car over? Like they're all, they, no. you're like, no, yeah. this is a date. Like I'm not going to work for my date, but for somebody to be like, Hey, I'd love to yeah. give you what you give to everybody else. That's it's, beautiful. It's a large amount of self-awareness there. Yeah. <laughs> but like at the end of it, he's like, can I, you know, what did he say? Um, can I massage other areas or something like that? I mean, if that meant obviously, all right. Now, did he say, can I go down on you? I think he, that's what he asked. Yeah. And I was scared out of my mind because again, this was what happened to my vagina from having babies. Like, you know, cause I've always been self-conscious about it in my marriage and I, we didn't do it a lot because I was like, Oh, it probably smells or, you know, I, I don't know. I just wasn't confident with it. And I was like, no, no, you know, I, I, I'm not comfortable with that. And he I was like, okay. Um, he's like, but really like, I would really love to, and, um, I don't want you to feel self-conscious about it. And so he, you know, just talking to me, he kind of talked me through it and I'm like, Okay, and it was amazing. amazing. Like we really had a strong sexual connection. Isn't both it we nice did. to see what happens when you yeah. let go of control? I know. And he got me to orgasm like right away. I'm like, wow. all right. Well, what's his hi. number? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, can we give me a massage? <laughs> I actually had one of those massages. I don't even think I told you the story. Oh, right after, like I, I won't say how it all happened, but I had a massage like that, and he just pretty much kept going until I said stop and he's like you oh you did tell me about this yeah he's like you can stop me at any point yeah and so I kind of pushed my boundaries and let it go but you know I, I I went a lot further than I realized just to allow myself to know it was okay you know so just know that push yeah. your boundaries a little bit and then you can decide if it's okay or not just don't don't demoralize yourself right but, you what know. was it he told you what was the word what were the words he said sit back and what was it was this the guy that went down on you that you're talking about? Oh, no, that was a different experience. Oh, a different experience. Yeah, like, whatever it was. Like it was one of the I'm first like, times just... of oral that yeah. I came. Yeah. So what yeah. did he tell you? Because He's like, well, I went to get up. I'm like, no, because I'm always like time sensitive. Like I have this thing of time and I'm like, oh my gosh, it's taking forever. I'm so sorry. Like, yeah, I, I, I haven't. And I didn't want to admit That's that really I hadn't common. really yeah. came with oral before um like not being on anything you know totally <laughs> yeah. natural and so i'm like laying there he's like just sit back and i i'm enjoying this so please and i think that's one thing for us as women is i'm like, enjoying this sit back. they yeah they're like i'm enjoying this like just just relax those are the words gentlemen oh, sit back and I relax i'm enjoying this yeah sit back and relax <laughs> well that's it's true like to me i'm like oh it's taking forever but like realizing that men like to go down on a yeah. woman and like it brings them joy yeah I started relaxing more and like discovering more about myself as I allowed things like that to happen yeah even though it was scary in the moment yeah you know it's but, hard to let go yeah but if you're feeling uncomfortable get the fuck out <laughs> for <laughs> like, sure listen to your intuition like, yes <laughs> make sure the energy is yeah. there but if you feel safe but you're just like it's like scared yeah. in a sense as long as you feel safe but scared I know I, I know that this makes sense you know people are listening but um <laughs> let it go let go a little bit because mm -hmm. you're discovering yourself and if you don't like it then you just stop yeah I love yeah. that. You can always say stop. And I think women like get scared to yeah. just like, please stop. It takes that. Yeah. Please stop. And you have to be able to do that too. In dating, you have to be able to be like, this is uncomfortable. So, and that's what I love about dating when we're older. I, I love that you brought that up because... I, I feel like I can use my voice and I feel I, I can't imagine dating as a 20 year old because I don't think I would have been as confident, you know, to tell somebody what I want, how I like it, all of that, you know, yeah. um, but, and I'll and I'll tell them to stop if I'm not comfortable because I am a grown ass woman and I'm not going to let anybody do what they, I don't want them to do. And don't waste time. Yeah. Time's of the essence. Yeah. Do you feel like you, do you feel the same way? Do you feel, feel like you would have been different in your twenties or have you just always been like this? I wasn't doing that in my twenties. Yeah. But if like, you were, do you think that you would have uh, just kind of gone along with it or, you know, not been confident enough to say exactly what you wanted? I mean, I guess, I mean, I was having, you know, I did have sex before I was married, but, um, I just, it wasn't about, it was more about the intrigue of it. Like, 
I don't know. It, it was such a different experience because I knew the people I was with weren't a long time. They were a good time. You know, I say that a lot. <laughs> That's what I even said about my my guy now. I'm like, he's a lot. He's a good time, not a long time. And now we're going on a long time. So you just never know. Honesty. Yeah, there's your radical honesty. But I'm like, you just you never know. I It's hard to say. Cause I was just doing it to do it back then, but it was never like in a relationship setting. Yeah. So it was just kind of free for all. So I didn't, I know. Cause I didn't know enough about myself. Yeah. I mean, if you and didn't I have an think, orgasm for yeah, six years, no. like you didn't know how to say that yeah. six years of my, my marriage. Yeah. I mean, I hadn't my first orgasm. If I was married for six years, what I was like 31 ish, mm-hmm. uh, somewhere around there. Don't make me do that. <laughs> yeah. Like, I mean, yeah. I was older and I was experienced in my own way, yeah. but, and I, you know, I had a boyfriend that I was actually engaged to even before that. And like, I don't remember it. Like we had fun with it, but it was never, I never got to that point. Yeah. I pretended a lot. We all did. <laughs> we all faked it. Faked it through our twenties. Oh, man. <laughs> Isn't it what women want? That movie with Mel Gibson. And he, like, oh, he's like, yeah, yeah you're he, like, he knew cause he could hear. <laughs> So then he like made her come and it yeah. was like, yeah, but because, that's the thing is he had to get in her mind without her knowing it yeah. to get her to get there. So now it's time for us as women to own that and yes. speak, stop speak. faking orgasms. Yes. Stop. It's speak not helping up. anybody. No, it's not. It's no. especially the ones that can't use their voice. Like, and what's going to get yeah. you to orgasm versus what's going to get me to orgasm. It's, it's going to be different. different. It's going to yeah. be very different. And what leads up to that and the intimacy and where mm-hmm. we're at in our cycle and everything. Yeah. That's the thing is even being in a committed relationship it's like okay what worked last night doesn't work tonight because my ovaries have moved or changed or like i it hurts more because i'm on my period or whatever yeah so yeah it's interesting and you just have to vocalize it now yeah or else you're just literally wasting time and energy the energy exchange when you're laying there and and the guy's like trying to do his best and you're just like and sometimes you're finally just like okay it's time to go all right get this over with yeah i know i heard was this a it was a tiktok or something i saw i mean that's like make sure you start every conversation with a man that oh i think my battery might be dying so just in case i'll call you back just so you have an out at any point in time (laughs) so you answer the phone like that (laughs) i was like that's a pretty good idea (laughs) Um, you're funny you probably talk on the phone a lot more than most women no i do not talk on the phone i hate talking i like marco polo oh yeah i'm a marco poloer yeah text or marco polo that's like a video chat for all you non-utah people oh my gosh and you (laughs) need to get it it. yeah then you know you're talking to the right person too yes video video before you meet them i yes 100 percent. i think i did that like maybe twice but i love doing marco polo with these guys because i knew the the energy i knew their reaction to what i was saying and Instead of like misreading things and body language and all that, I got mm-hmm. to see that through video. I highly recommend Marco Polo right. for dating. Yes, absolutely. Yeah, the couple times that I didn't use video chat or something, um, and I met them, I was very disappointed. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, it's like yeah. being catfished. <laughs> it's like, what? Catfish. It's not. He's like, well, that was a picture from twenty years ago. Oh my You're god! Like, really? Why did you use that? It oh. literally suggests that you in the last. It's not year. an obituary. It's a dating. No, You're like really, really, oh really. <laughs> I think we need to do that, Brett. I think we need to do like a photo shoot with new pictures, and especially in this room. I kind of have a sexy yeah. room, you guys. It's, Dude, I'm gonna just make very... a calendar. <laughs> yeah, okay. I did that for my ex-husband. It's time to do that for oh, my guy. I love that. Yeah, it's it's actually in his drawer. Really? <laughs> I'm like, it, I know I'm using props that were my ex-husband's, but they're good pictures from ten years ago. <laughs> do that. Let's do it. Okay, Let's make it happen. Perfect. Yeah. Okay. Yes. okay. I think I, you and I could just do it. We yeah. don't need any professional. We're professional. Yeah. Duh. Absolutely. <sighs> All right. I, I love this today. Um, if you have any fun dating stories, I'd love to hear them down below in our on our YouTube channel. Down and below. Down below in the comments. <laughs> oh, we yeah, gotta, down if below. We're talking ha, about sex. Ha, so we got to do the pun. I, I'm a little bit like 10 <laughs> seconds behind. I get it now. <laughs> take it uh, down below. Take it down. Yes. <laughs> get in there. Yeah. Just let us get know. Get in and but, type those comments. <laughs> okay. uh, make sure you subscribe to your the only way we're going to grow on here um, is if we have that support so if you can follow us and if you have the means donate to our podcast the link is in the comments we would appreciate it I mean it'll help us buy some groceries or you know fix a leak in fix your bathroom. leak in my bathroom currently that's going on right now that we my AC that's broken so I'm just adding a list so many things that we get to take
down there a little by ourselves. Yeah, it's worth it. It's so worth it. <laughs> All right, we'll see you in the next one.